Had a little, little accident. What's up? Blessings to everybody, man. Blessings to everybody. Hold on, people. Hold on. What up? Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up? What's up, people? Yo, the topic is why breed a dog without papers and pedigree? That's the topic. Why do, why people breed dogs without papers and pedigree? That's the topic. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? The, or they breed a male with papers and a female without papers. I don't understand that one. I, I really don't understand that one. I, I wouldn't... To me, you're a backyard breeder. Real facts. But it really ain't that much money. What's good? What's good, people? It really ain't that much money, though. If you want to be technical about it. Right? $300 for, for a dog. $300 for a dog. That shit ain't shit. Yeah, or well, $500 ain't shit. That shit ain't shit either. 300 to 500 ain't shit, man, for a dog. That, that's, that shit is cheap for a dog. But yo, if you think about it, right? I'm not breeding no dogs without no papers, bro. I'm not cleaning up shit for $500.
I'm not I'm not cleaning up shit for five hundred dollars. Uh, I don't know, but some people love to clean up shit for five hundred dollars. Maybe they think they worth only five hundred dollars. Yeah, it is. I, I never said there was no badass dogs that without no. I never said that. But I, I'm not cleaning up no shit for a little bit of price. I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but me personally, I'm not cleaning up no shit for no little price. What y'all think? Y'all should clean up dog shit. For a little price, huh? Do y'all think y'all should clean up dog shit for a little price? You tell me. All dogs was made. No, I don't. That's a lot. If I want, if I, yo, if, if, but if, want the dog, I'm gonna, to clean up my dog. Of course you're gonna clean up your dog shit, no matter what. But it's a job. People think it's not a fucking job, though. People think this ain't no job. You 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 doing minimum wage for your job. Minimum wage for your job. That's what you doing. Minimum wage for your job. This is this is my job. This is one of my jobs, right? I'm not. You're not giving me minimum wage. For something that I do, no matter what. My value is more. I put into my dogs over 50 grand and better into my dogs. 50 grand and better into my dogs. Real facts. Can can I cross a whip it with a pedigree? What? And a bull tie with a belly? That's what you want? You want to do that shit? Um, Kobe, um, Maurice Carver, motherfuckers, they did it. Why you cannot do it? Why the pale face could mix dogs and make their own breed, but when a black person do it, he's wrong to do it. Huh? Tell me that. Kobe did it. John um, Doverman did it. Johnson did it. Levitt did it. These people did it, right? They made their own breed. They made their own bulldogs. They made their own terriers. Why can't you not do it? Oh, you don't got nothing to say right now, right? <laughs> you don't got nothing to say right now. But do it right. Real facts, do it right. When you do it, inbreed and line breed. When you do it, do it right. Inbreed and line breed. Real facts. Do it fucking right. Simple as that. Mm, you don't got nothing to say on that one, huh?
That's real facts. So how, how people start making the first pedigree from mutts? How? From um, pedigree, family tree is the name of each dog. The bloodline is the name of the owner, the um, the kennel name. That's what that's what a bloodline is, right? So all these people made their own dogs, right? But they started from somewhere, right? Started from somewhere. Some people be telling me I've been breeding dogs for fifteen years, but. If you've been breeding dogs for 15 years, you should have a pedigree and family tree fucking up the ass. If you've been breeding for 15 years, you should have a pedigree and a family tree. Don't tell me, oh, um, I lost it. Oh, um, it, it's in the fire. It's in the, it was in the fire. One person told me the fire. Man, please. That was the bogus story in the world. That's the bogus story in the world. It, I had a fire and I don't have. So you should be writing your pedigree down or you should be putting it online before you can have it. Real facts. That, that's real facts. But yo, people started from some, some scratch to make a dog. They started from scratch to make a dog. Oh shit. What kind of dog was it? But you, you gotta remember FCI, right? was the oldest registry in the world. That was international overseas. That was overseas. When dogs was imported from overseas, they came here and then they switched it with AKC. They switched it with AKC. Well, is a mutt and the dad is a I'm not breeding that if the mom is a mutt I'm not breeding a paper dog to a mutt I'm not not breeding no paper dog to a mutt uh, I think it, that's like you going backwards Shit, there was so many dogs that was, so who had the first dog? Shit. Who had the first dog? Shit, Kobe. Had that, that Duke. He had a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Bro, most dogs, most American Pit Bull Terrier go back to Kobe. Just like most American Bulldogs go back to Johnson. You understand? Hello? Yes. Good, are you?
All right, no problem. Thank you, ma'am. So when the dogs got imported, some was stolen. And are those dogs mutts that was stolen? Shit, who do you think? If the dogs were stolen, right? And they don't have no, no papers and no pedigree, right? Hold on, let me go to, that's a mutt. What's a mutt? All dogs was mutts. Not Pitbull, but bro, I I understand all breeds, bro. So people in England and Ireland had first dogs. Their dogs had pedigree. Came over to America with us. They came over here to America, yes. England, Spain, imported bloodlines. Real facts. So would you so a purebred dog and a dog with a pedigree is two different no 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 no. A purebred dog is a dog with papers and pedigree, bro. A purebred dog is a line breed and inbreed dog. It comes out the same. That's a purebred. When it looks the same, right? When it's coming out the same. It's a breed. My 35 years around pit bulls, I never heard nobody speak on papers. Only time. That, and I've been with pit bulls for the longest, and we've been speaking on with papers and pedigree. <laughs> you think pit bull, you think you have pit bulls? You really think you have pit bulls? What bloodline you have? Because there's established bloodlines, bro. There's established bloodlines in every fucking breed. In every breed, there's established bloodlines. And another thing about backyard breeders and people don't fit the standards, right? Don't fit the standards. They breed, they don't care what the dog look like. Right? They don't care what the dog look like. It could fucking have one eye over here, a face over here, and they will breed it. To me, that shit is retarded. I'm not breeding bullshit, deformed dogs into my breeding stock. I'm not. That shit is crazy. When you breed deformed dogs into a breeding stock, you're gonna come out. It's gonna come out deformed. Simple as that. That's like breeding unhealthy dogs into your breeding program. Shit, yeah, but they still had they they still have um papers and pedigree. You know why they had stolen dogs? Because they had no dogs to protect them and shit like that. And they brought dumb motherfuckers to their yard. That's another thing you shouldn't breed. Bring dumb people to your yard. You shouldn't bring, bring nobody to your yard. You shouldn't bring nobody to your yard. I don't give a fuck who, who they... You shouldn't breed no... Bring nobody to your yard. Nobody. Your breeding farm should be closed to the public. Because they will railroad you for a lying ass case. They will set you up for a lying ass case. You shouldn't bring nobody to your yard. Real facts. Because you don't know who is undercover. Shit, I've been feel bad for them. But I've been fat foot bad. I'm not breeding deformed dogs. Oh, he he's deformed, but um, he's game. He's deformed, but he's game. No, 
I don't give a fuck how game the motherfucking dog is. I'm not putting that in my breeding program. I'm not putting a beagle mix looking like dog in my breeding program. I don't care how game the fucking dog is. It could be the great gamest. It could be the whole retardedest game shit in the world. I'm not putting deformed dogs in my breeding program. And it's like this, bro. It's like a boxer, right? You got to train that dog to be aggressive. You got to train that dog. And people say, oh, it's, it's not taught. It's in the bloodline. It's taught also. Aggressive is taught. It is taught. It is taught. Being human aggressive is taught. Being an animal aggressive is taught. Real facts. It is taught. Just like being a um, um, a military is taught. Now, if you just don't teach a dog to do shit, you think he he's going to be game and he's going to be a protection dog or or um, a hog dog? No, it's not. But the pedigree is not. A breed. Who said it's not? It's a breed. It's a family tree. The pedigree is a family tree. Knowing what you got into your dogs. That's what it is, and it needs to be. It needs to be pushed out. Not all of them. That's a lot. That is. That's a lot. A lot of these dogs is a bastard child. They was not even, pedigree is like marriage papers. Pedigree is like marriage papers, bro. Real facts. It's like marriage papers, pedigree. I don't want no bastard childs. Real facts. I don't want no father's um, sons, uh, unfather's um, daughters, or unfather's um, mothers. It's like a bastard child. Simple as that. Let's be real with shit. And we're not only talking about pit bulls. I'm talking about all dogs, period. Right? Why these Caucasians can make a breed, but they get mad at you when you do your battle crossing, right? These, these Caucasians did they battle crossing. They made they battle crossing. Shit, Pincher was a battle cross. There was so many battle crosses that was winning. That's why they was winning, because they was battle crosses. That's why they was living 11 times. Fucking. And you don't see that shit no more. You don't see that shit no more 11 times. You don't see that shit. Battle crosses. Did you say? So what you think of the Saint Bernard? Greatest dog in the world, Saint Bernard. That shit is an American bulldog. Shit, back in the days, I used to get, I used to get hairy ass fucking bulldogs, you know. And they talk, they call them fluffy <laughs> bulldogs. They, they used to, they call them fluffies now. And I used to get hairy ass bulldogs that I used to spade it and neuter them. I used to spade it and neuter them. Yo, I remember I bred a Johnson to a Johnson. Right, then I bred um, a father to a um, daughter, and I got a hairy ass bulldog, bro. That was way back in the days. You know what I did with that dog? I neutered that dog. 
that's a reputable breeder. A reputable breeder. See, just like I, I remember when I bred a Jeep, right? A Jeep, Red Boy, and um, Nigarino dog, right? And then I did inbreeding and line breeding, right? I did inbreeding and line breeding, right? It had the smallest tail in the world. You think I'm, I would call that a pit bull? No, that's a fucking throwback that's coming out of the jeans. Because you're breathing it so tight. You're breathing it so tight. You think I'm going to call that a pit bull? No, I'm not going to call it a pit bull because I breed for the standards. It is. It's not a purebred dog, bro. If it doesn't have papers and pedigree. Real fast. It's not. So you think a dog with no papers and no pedigree no family tree is a purebred dog? No. Nah. You can't say that because you then you will say everything is a pit bull. Then you got to say everything is a pit bull, but everything is not a pit bull or everything is not an old English bulldoggy or everything is not a Lapaha blue-blooded bulldog. How can you make a new type of dog such as a mastiff a hound easy crossing mastiffs together crossing hounds together making your own hound making your own mastiff it's not hard bro it ain't county corso is from neopalm mastiff that's the cousin that is the cousin Mm, that's the cousin. That's the cousin of the the county coso. You can make your own breed, bro. You gotta take dogs with papers and pedigree and cross them together. And then inbreeding and you gotta have land. You got to be a mad scientist also. You got to be a mad scientist and you got to have land. Real facts. Real facts. You can make your own master. Master is a type. Bulldog is a type. Hound is a type. Real facts. I breed a pit to a stab to, to a pocket. Do you have papers and pedigree? Bet you you don't. I bet you none of them dogs had family tree when you bred them. I bet you they didn't have no family tree when you bred them. I bet you they, they didn't have no family tree when you bred them. Yeah, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. That's real facts. call anything anything to me if you don't have no papers and no pedigree you have a mutt that's to me 
So count. So yeah, they was. But yo, working dogs and show dogs, right? They had pedigree and family tree. Working dogs and show dogs have papers and pedigree. Real facts. All dogs was made, bro. The only dog was not made was a wolf. And the African um, dogs, but all dogs was man-made. But it had papers and pedigree. Because why do you want a dog without papers and pedigree? Why? I don't understand that. I, I really don't understand that. They hate on everything, bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I keep on moving. People gonna hate because they don't understand. They only understand somebody else's bullshit. <laughs> and my shit ain't bullshit. But they, they hate because they don't understand. They wanna say this man is better than this man they want to say this man is better than this man no ain't nobody better than nobody real facts that's real facts it's just what is your dogs is bred for man what is the purpose of why you making um a sample your bloodline why did they make gray lines? Why did they make razor edge? Why did they make gaudy bloodline? Why did they make um, Jeep lines? Why did they make Kobe lines? What was the purpose, right? What is the purpose of these dogs? The point, you know what the point it was, right? It was the point, right? It was the point, right? That was the purpose of that hound, right? To point. So, mad breeders made that dog to point, right? Why there was retrievers, right? There's so many different fucking retrievers. So many different retrievers. Why did they make them? To retrieve something, right? Why did they make a bloodhound? You understand what I'm saying? There's a purpose for these dogs, bro. Peace and, and blessings to everybody also. But there was a purpose. It was a purpose. That's why they was made. You can hate it, you can love it, all you want to. I never saw a fucking American bully catching hogs, right? Until I started making the American Staffordshire bullies, right? So that's what I wanted for. I wanted to catch hogs with blue dogs. I wanted to catch fucking people with blue dogs. You just see bullies hanging out with other dogs and doing shit with them. They was bred to be looking good, right? That's what they was bred for, to look good, right? When you walk down the street, some of them grab now, some of them will snatch a person, some of them will. Real facts. But yo, 
I'm not breeding no dogs without no papers and no family tree. Make my own sauce, my own ingredients, my own shit. Why support other shit? Right? And don't support your own shit. Support your own gumbo. Make your own history. Make your own history. Peace, G. What's up? Peace. Make your own history. Make your own gumbo. Real facts. And make it to work or make it for show. Make it to work or make it for show. Because the OREBA is here to stay. So you, we, we have working shows and we're going to have confirmation shows. And y'all individuals can put on them shows. Y'all can put on them shows. Y'all can. You can. You can put on them shows. We are here to honor the points. We are here to honor the points. So you can put a, a working show. And the OREBA is here to fucking honor the point. You can put on a, a confirmation show. And we here to honor the points. It's got to fit your standards. Your standards. Make your own hounds. Make your own terriers. Make your own masters. Make your own shit. Real facts. But don't call it a stabbish breed. Stabbish breeds means American Pit Bull Terrier. American Staffordshire Terrier. Staffy Bull Terrier. St. Bernard. Rockweller. German Shepherd. Doverman. Etc. 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 Them established breeds. Established breeds means it's coming out the same. And you can make your own established breeds that's coming out the same. Just got to have land. You got to spade it and neuter it. The ones that don't look the same. Then you, you, you gotta pick the dogs. You gotta ha you gotta keep the whole litter. You gotta do the shit right. I am the master of all bulldogs, man, and I approve this message, man. Everything is not a pit bull. Everything is not an O.D. English Bulldoggy. There's only one bloodline of an O.D. English Bulldoggy, and that's David Levitt. Until somebody make the fucking four ingredients of an O.D. English Bulldoggy. And you cannot make a Lapaha Blue-Blooded Bulldog. You got Cattlehoo Bulldogs claiming that you have a Lapaha. Why do y'all take established names and put it on your, your mixture? Because, let me tell you why. Because you're trying to sell the fucking dog. You're trying to sell the dog. I'm going to call this a pit bull. The world's largest pit bull in the world. That shit is the... That's you lying. And you're doing fraud. You lying and you taking people money off of a lie. That shit is the crazy shit. You taking people money off of a lie. You robbing them. That's what you doing. Oh, yo, you, I got an OD English Bulldoggy because the IOEBA says so. Man, the IOEBA, nobody told them or no other organization no other corporation told these motherfuckers or put it in the world that saying you do not have old English Bulldog. They let the shit fly. They let the shit fly.
But I'm here. Bro, you can't make an XL Pitbull. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as an XL Pitbull. That's a band doggy. Or American Bully. XL American Bully. That's a lie, bro. There's no such thing as XL pit bulls, bro. So you got to get that out of your head. That's a lie. That's a scam. That's a scam, bro. A scam. They're scamming people. Oh, I got the XL pit bulls. That's a scam. They don't have pit bulls. Pit bull is a short way of saying American pit bull terrier. And it's a game bred dog. It's a game bred dog. It's not no XL pit bulls. It's a game bred dog. Pit bulldog. That's a game bred dog. There is XL bullies. Yes, that's what it should be. There's six different ways of American bully. Really more than that now. Because they got the Merle bullies. But yo... Shit, shit needs to be spoken. The shit needs to hit the fan, bro. That's what I'm here for. I'm not trying to argue with you. I ain't trying to hate on you. Every dog looks good. I'm not saying your dog don't look good. I'm just saying your dog is not an XL pit bull. Simple as that. Because you got a bully. You don't have a pit bull. So if all these these breeder breeding registries lying, how allow people to yo because they don't care, bro. They don't care. Peace and love, bro. Peace and love to you too, bro. These registries be lying, bro. They allow people to lie. For money to scam they allowed to scam these registries ADBA is trying to fix up shit but they still can't because the the gene pool of the the, the, the stud books is fucked up the gene pool of the stud books is fucked up with the UKC the ADBA and all the other registries. They fucked up. No, that's that's a bull terrier cross. They shouldn't point up. They shouldn't point up at all. And you're supposed to be as a breeder to flop their fucking ears down. Real facts. You as a breeder, they sh you should be on your job doing the right shit go by standards nobody give a fuck about standards it seem like so we don't give a fuck telling you you don't have that breed if you don't care about standards we care about you don't have that breed then and you breeding deformed dogs Eyes messed up, eyes two part, bow legged. Cause I want a, I want a bow legged dog. That's my, bro. You fucking up the breed. You fucking up the dog. Why do you want a bow legged fucked up law dog? It's supposed to be H, a H. It's supposed to be a H. That's the proper way. Why you want to fuck up the proper way? Because it looks different? That's crazy to me. Bro, there's no such thing as XL Pitbull Terriers. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as the XL Pitbull Terriers.
shit because he was not doing this shit right. He was not doing this shit right. This can be the sister and brother of the dog you have on your yard, but it's a mutt without papers? Nah. Bro, it could be the sister and the brother. No, it can't be. What are you talking about, bro? You gotta throw something else into it to make the weight come out. You gotta throw something else into it. You gotta throw something else into it. Real facts. That's the only way you change the weight. You think you bullied uh, Max will fatten a dog up? Nah, if, if this fucking parents is skinny, the dog gonna be skinny. Simple as that. You could, you could, you could put steroids in the fucking dog and, and make it fucking big. But yo, that shit is retarded. That's cruelty. Who the fuck wanna do that shit? Who wanna do cruelty shit? They think hog hunting is cruelty. But they, see, but the Bully Max dog food is promoting, if you give the dogs this shit. What? If you're on the X, I, I don't give a hoot if you disagree. There's no such thing as XL Pitbull Terriers. There's no such thing, bro. There's no such thing as XL Pitbull. Pitbull is a short way of saying American Pitbull Terrier. It's not for all breeds. And Pitbulls has a standards. It's not over 70 pounds. It's not 100 pounds. It's not 150 pounds. It's not 160 pounds. A Pitbull. You can hate on it. You can disagree. It doesn't matter to me. But there's no such thing as an XL Pitbull Terrier. There's no such thing. And if you believe that, something's wrong with your head. Real facts. Something's really wrong with your head. If you believe there's an XL Pitbull Terrier, that shit is the bogus shit in the world. Bogus shit. You can take it or leave it. You can shove it, whatever you want to shove it. Doesn't matter to me. There's no such thing as fucking XL pit bulls or XL pit bull terriers. There's no such thing. That's some made up scamming shit. Scamming. That's some make up scammy shit. The truth hurts. After 20 years, you thought you had a 120 pound pit bull? That's fucking retarded. You had a fucking band dog or a band doggy. If you got a 120 pound do dog and you want to call it a pit bull, something's wrong with your head, bro. That's like a serial killer killing people and don't know he's fucking killing people. You lying to people. Bro, make it. I'm here to register it. <laughs> I'm here to register it. But yo, listen. That's some lying shit. That's like a serial killer saying, yo, I can kill and I don't know about it. That's like saying a snake is a dog. That's like saying a snake is a fucking dog. <laughs> That's what that shit is like saying. If you think there's XL pit bulls or XL pit bull terriers, that's like saying a snake is a dog. 
Let's call a snake a fucking dog. Let's call it. A snake is a, let's call a snake dog. Let's call it a snake dog. Cause I want to call it that. Shit is retarded, bro. That sounds retarded. Shout, sounds bogus and retarded. That shit sounds bogus and retarded. Cause I just want to call it a snake dog. I'm gonna put feet on it, on the snake, and call it a snake dog. It's no such thing as XL pit bulls. So I don't give a fuck what um, Dyke Dynasty says. Gemini Kennel says, man-made kennels. Um, um, unleash. It's more. I don't know. I forgot the other ones. Right? Dyke Dynasty. Gemini kennels, man-made kennels, unleash. There's more. I forgot the rest of them. The motherfuckers think they got the world's largest fucking pit bull. That's you. That's what's up. You want dogs without papers. Because you can't afford dogs with papers. That's you. I'm not feeding no retarded dogs, not no um, working dogs, and I'm not feeding no dogs without no papers and no pedigree. I'm not. I will get rid of it. Simple as that. That's simple. That's common sense. Not feeding no dogs without no family tree, no pedigree, no nothing. And a retarded ass dog. Or a deformed dog. I'm not feeding that shit because it's game. Oh, because it's game. I'm not feeding that shit. Y'all can feed that shit. I never said no no dogs without no papers ain't game though. There's some dogs without papers that is game. But I'm not feeding that shit. I'm not spending my money on that shit. I'm not trying to get three hundred to five hundred dollar dogs. To me, dogs without papers and pedigree should be spaded and neutered. They should be sold as pet for a thousand dollars. Your time and effort from cleaning up shit all day, you you putting in, you going to work, you going to work and putting in money into your your business. You should get a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars with a spaded neutered dog. With a spaded neutered dog, you should be getting a thousand to fifteen. Bro, the fucking everything went up. Life been up. Been up since long time ago. It been up. This is a product. Puppies is a product. Dog is a product. You putting money into the dogs. That's a product. You putting clothes on your back. That's a product. You putting clothes. Product is a clothes. Drinking a Corona is a product. It's a living product, but it's there's, there's living products. And then there's non-living products. It's still a product. So you better sell your product to like whatever's go yo, your dog the dog food is going up. The gas is going up. Everything.
every shit is going up. Now selling no dogs for no 500, that shit is like your value is shit. Your value is shit. That's to me. I'm selling 300 to 400. That shit is crazy. You better sell that shit for a thousand. You better sell that Reggie for a thousand. You better sell that Reggie for a thousand for you could get that fucking hydro, that gas with papers and pedigree. Let's talk hood shit. You want to talk hood? We could, we could talk hood shit. I love dogs. That's what I think about dogs. It's a peace of mind. I'm in my office. I'm away from nagging as women. I'm away from nagging as wives. I'm I'm a, I'm away from nagging as wives. I love dogs. Keeps me out of trouble and shit. The Dogo is the greatest dog in the world, too. And that's a man-made dog. The Dogo is a man-made dog. The Dogo is a man-made dog also. That's somebody's ingredients. That's somebody's gumbo. The Argentino Dogo is somebody's gumbo. He made that shit. I salute that motherfucker because he made his own motherfucking breed. He made his own breed to fuck up lion, um, mountain lions and to fuck up hogs. He made that breed. The amount of energy you put into these dogs, you should be, yo, you should come out with money. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you a puppy petterer. You's a puppy petterer. You's a, but your fucking shit look like shit. You ain't putting back into your dogs. Your shit look like shit. You ain't putting back into your dog. Your shit look like shit. I wanna, yo, I wanna make a, a um, $250,000 um, fucking shed. I want, I wanna make that shit. Real facts. I wanna make that shit that holds 80 dogs, indoor kennel, indoor. Good for you, but I'm not feeding no unpapered dog. You can feed it though. That's your prerogative. That's your shit. But me, I'm not feeding no unpapered dog, man. I'm not. Reggie, yes. Fuck with that Reggie. Keep fucking, that's dogs with no papers and no pedigree. That's that Reggie. Shit, a whole lot, Tom. I got more than 80 dogs right now. Shit. I have more than 80 dogs. Man, I sometimes. I don't go to bed until 2 in the morning, bro. I don't even, sometimes I don't even fucking sleep. <laughs> after I go, after I do my dogs, I'm going to my other job. I'm doing dog training. I'm doing whatever I need to do to put back into these dogs. Real facts. That's what I'm doing. And if you get your business incorporated, 
If you get your business incorporated and pay taxes and yo and write that shit on taxes, you get back money. But y'all don't understand that shit. Y'all don't get that shit though. I've been trying to tell y'all that for the years. Get your business. This is a business. Having dogs is still a business. Get your dog, your, your kennel registered with the Secretary of State in your state. And you not just only breeding fucking dogs, doing other shit with them. Dog walking, pet sitting, pooper scooper. There's so much shit to do. So much shit. To do hire people, fucking fire people, be a boss. But y'all don't know how to do that shit. Cause I've been trying to teach y'all for the longest. Get your fucking business, your kill name, register with the secretary of state in your state and pay them taxes. That's real facts. That's what you need to do. Don't think you don't need to do that shit. You need to do that shit. That's real bossed up shit. Not fucking being a backyard breeder and not doing bossed up shit. Not having your shit incorporated. That's not bossed up shit. I, I don't give a fuck. You don't have to be careful. You just do the shit right. Simple as that. And and your breeding farm is closed to the public. Real facts. Your breeding farm is closed to the public. You can ship dogs all over the world. Real facts. Free advertisement is your YouTube. You got to spend money for a website. You got to spend money to upkeep the website. You got to keep the fucking website going. Bossed up shit. Why do you want to be on the low total pole? I don't want to be the total pole on the low total. I want to be on the top of the mountains. So... When they say you a puppy petterer, man, fuck these people that says that shit. Real facts. Fuck them scumbags that says you a puppy petterer. Tom Garner, he's a puppy petterer, but I don't give a shit. He's making that fucking money. But he ain't doing it right because he's putting two litters together. He's putting two litters and he's not putting numbers on these dogs like cattle, right? It's a product, right? You gotta know which dog has the right papers, which dog is the right shit. You gotta do shit right. It's so much fucking work, right? So if you breeding dogs, right? And you have 10 puppies here with this fucking litter, and then you got 10 puppies with this litter, and you put them all together, right? You don't know what you're doing. There's no tattoo. That's saying this litter is for this litter. These papers is for this this litter. And these papers is for that litter. But you're supposed to be responsible in everything you do. You're supposed to be 100 in everything you do. And keep selling that Reggie, bro. That's you. Blessings to everybody. Peace and love. But yo. And that's real. I approve this message. I am the master of all bulldogs and I approve this message.